It's the penultimate round of the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship for 2011. Championships hanging in the balance. In fact, in the 250 class, it was completely up for grabs and within the sight of Dean Wilson. The day starts off great for Wilson. He grabs the whole shot at this Steel City National. He's got an early challenge from the rookie, Justin Bogle, on the Geico Power Sports Honda. But Wilson would pull away on his Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki and was looking forward to scoring maximum points while his teammates, Blake Baggett and Tyler Rattray, who were challenging him in the series, struggled to just get into the top five. Late in the race, Eli Tomac puts on a charge. He gets around Ryan Sykes. He gets around Bogle. He moves into second. He wasn't able to challenge Wilson, who goes on for the Moto win and Marvin Moosecown of the Red Bull KTM takes third. So now Wilson has a championship potentially within reach in Moto2, and he goes out and grabs the whole shot. He's got an early challenge on his hands from Tomac, who takes the lead from Wilson and looked ready to pull away and go for the overall win. But it was not to be, as Wilson rebounded, regrouped, relaxed, and took the lead back from Tomac. And with that, he was on the verge of scoring enough points to wrap up the title one race early, especially since Baggett and Rattray were outside of the top three again. And because of that, Dean Wilson clinches your championship, the first one of the 2011 motocross campaign. Tomac and Muskeon round out the 250 podium. Let's move to the 450 class. Tons of drama in this division. Chad Reed has been mathematically eliminated. It is now down to Villapoto and Dungy. And Villapoto starts the first moto with a whole shot. But he's quickly passed by Justin Barsha. And that slows up Villapoto enough for Dungy to get by. Then Dungy takes the lead from Barsha. Villapoto takes over second. And the two Ryans set out on a tremendous battle for the number one spot. Eventually, Dungy's rock star Makita Suzuki teammate, Brett Metcalf, would take over third from Barsha and hold it to the end. But all eyes are on the battle up front. Down to the last lap, Dungy still holding off Villapoto, and then down to the last turn. Dungy covers the inside, Villapoto around the outside, a handful of throttles, steals the lead and the win in the final turn of the moto. That's a six point swing in the championship. And that momentum carried over to Moto2, where Villapoto got out front early. Dungy had the whole shot, Villapoto executes a beautiful pass in the first lap, and will pull away from there. Dungy went down, got passed by Chad Reed, he would eventually rebound and move into the number two position, but he was not able to challenge Villapoto in this one. And by virtue of going 1-1, the Monster Energy Kawasaki rider now has a 14-point lead heading into your finale next week at Power in California. Metcalf rounds out the 450 podium, and in the women's motocross class, DNA Shred Stick star racing Yamaha's Jessica Patterson goes 1-1 atop Ashley Filek and Tara Geiger in the results. But Filek, on her American Racing Honda Red Bull back machine, still holds a 22-point lead heading into the finale. And she'll try to polish off a championship along with Villapoto next weekend.